We will be talking today about uh, Spanish e-commerce market, and then uh, I will be dividing my presentation in three different parts. First of it, uh, we will be seeing some facts and figures about uh, how buyers react in Spain, how they act, how how they buy, what they decide, how do they go to the to the website, and and how do they pay. All the all the necessary aspects uh, to to understand a bit uh, more what are their uh, their main features uh, for them, what's important for them. Then second, it will be a very brief uh, uh, information about uh, what are the expectations um, um, from the sellers in Spain, from the point of view of the Spanish sellers today in in Spain. And third, we will be giving an example about how Correos, as, a, as the Spanish postal operator, is um, helping companies to come directly into Spain. And uh, we will be setting, as I'm responsible for the Asia-Pacific uh, area, I think uh, AliExpress will be a very good example, as we are one of the few postal operators in the world with a direct uh, contract uh, with them. So, if you're thinking, thinking of selling to, to Spain, sorry, any of you already selling in Spain? Okay. Any of you thinking of maybe selling in Spain? Okay, that's, that's good. That's uh, quite uh, interesting. We have to take into account that sometimes, even in cross-border, if we think, okay, I'm going to sell into Spain, I'm going to sell into Italy, Germany, why Why do you take that uh, decision? Is it just because it's a, a big uh, market? Is it just because of uh, somebody went to your website in English from this country and started uh, buying and maybe you see that there is some move uh, from, from, this, from this country. There are different uh, reasons for, for you to, to do it. But uh, we have to take, uh, every time we decide to go cross-border, we have to take into account uh, quite a few things. For a start, we always say Spain is different. We eat at a different time. We they say we have our, our siesta, they, we, we live life different, and so we buy different also. So, if you think uh, about doing it, if you're already doing it, you, will, you may have seen some uh, different behavior from, uh, from the buyer, from the Spanish uh, buyer. So, you will be needing to apply different uh, strategies than the, maybe the ones you're using in, in the UK to, to, to the people who, who buy here. A, we have to, you have to understand how uh, Spanish market and, and the consumers uh, react to the, to the different um, information you send, whether you use email, whether you use uh, um, uh, just a social network or any, any way you send a message, uh, they may react uh, differently then we have to adapt messages to, to, the, to the local style. Uh, you know, 88% of the, of the websites in the world are in only 10 languages. So with that, you cover uh, everything. And English, of course, is the main one. But uh, I don't know whether you have been on holidays in Spain. You will notice that uh, the knowledge of, of, of English for, for us is medium average, as, as we always say when we go for a job interview. Uh, we always uh, say we have medium average. Written is, might be quite okay, but so this could be a barrier at the time of trying to sell. Some of you, depending on, on what's your intention, may, may wish to do the, the effort to, to translate the website. But even inside Spain, we have three other uh, languages, and in some areas, some customers will react better if you talk in their mother tongue, which could be uh, from Catalonia or from Galicia or from uh, the Basque country, 
rather than in Spanish. So these are things that uh, you have to take into account. And of course, searching for, for the best possible channel to get, uh, to get to them and make your message uh, uh, worth it. So uh, in Spain, uh, we have a large, the largest per, uh, percentage uh, of the buyers that just go to the website and buy on the website. But we see Spain was a, a country we were dominated by seven centuries, uh, uh, for seven centuries by, by the Muslims. And it's a country used to touch, to see what they buy. So there is still quite an interesting percentage of people who will see what they want to buy and then will buy it online. And the, sorry, and then will buy it in the, in the shop. And people who go to the shop and see it and, and taste it and try it, and then they will buy it on, online. This, uh, uh, the more digital uh, Spaniards are becoming, the, the more it's changing, just website to website. But still, we have this. Also, part of this is because some have fears of uh, buying on the, on the internet because of uh, payment methods. That's uh, also one, one of the reasons, but as I said, Year on year, the figures are, are changing to the, first, uh, to the first one. And then, regarding categories, whether they want to buy online or offline, you will see there is a difference that the value, the, the less is the value, or the bigger or the, the less weight has the item, it's easier for the, for the Spanish consumers to buy online when you move to furniture, when you move to jewelry, to watches, then you will see less and less people buying online and going more offline because of uh, the value. Will, will I receive exactly what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm asking or the price too high like to, to try to, to receive and then, com then complain or, or then try to, try to send it back? The, the return policy is quite important. And then the food, food, of course, percentage, percentage will never go too high because you have too, too many people doing online shopping, uh, sorry, uh, everyday shopping um, offline. Plus, when you buy food, you need it uh, in hours sometimes. Uh, you cannot expect uh, too many days for delivery. And that for cross-borders is, uh, for cross-border business is not uh, that simple. We have also people buying more and more every month. That's very good news for the, for the business in Spain. Now, almost three times a month is the average uh, we're getting. Last, uh, last year, the previous, sorry, th a few years ago, it was only 2.1. We're very far away from countries like China, where it's almost six times uh, per month. But uh, we're surely getting, getting there. Also, the, the average uh, ticket value has been increased from 63 to, to 70 uh, euros per, per tra transaction, which is uh, quite, uh, quite a good uh, for what we had uh, previous, uh, in the previous years. Uh, and we are going mobile, which is uh, important also. From last year to this year, 7% have dropped from the computers, and this 7% has gone to the to the uh, smartphones. The tablets are very much the same as they were. But if you look on the second graphic, uh, you will see that the higher the value, the more people will buy in the computers. It's as if they needed still a larger screen to see what, uh, what they are going to buy. Or maybe it's because of the 3G, 4G. The risk of uh, the connection is poor when I'm doing the payment, will that work, will not work? So I prefer to use, to use uh, just the, uh, to do the, the shopping at home or at work in my, with the safety of my computer. That's something also to, to take into, into account. Who are influencing people to buy in Spain? Bloggers are on top. 
and then family and friends. Those two are really important. That means that in Spain, the message that uh, from people, if you look at, uh, at it, celebrities are the lowest. So in Spain, we really base on what people we think are near, people we believe, blogs, forums, friends, we believe them, we think they, they will give us uh, good advice, good information. So this is something to take into account at the time of addressing. Uh, then you will have, uh, of course, the name of the brand is quite important. Some after they buy two or three times in the, on the website, if the website is good, then they will not think anymore about uh, who's going to tell me where to buy. They will do it directly. But uh, social network is coming strongly also behind. And then uh, just the online advertising. Email, although there is the risk of spam, we see more and more uh, companies who are just sending every day the, the email. We are receiving so many emails in a day that uh, sometimes due to the pressure, uh, especially at work, we start deleting without, uh, without reading. And then when I start deleting every day the email from a certain company without even reading, after a while, I will just uh, unsubscribe. So we have to know when is the right moment. We cannot be just bombing uh, Spanish uh, buyers unless they, are, they prove that they're reacting uh, to, the, to the emails. Maybe we should classify those buyers and say, to this, I can send a daily email because he will react once in a week. But to others, maybe I should keep it uh, you know, once in a fortnight, once in a month, maybe. And that could increase the, the response uh, rate. But at the time of buying, customers, they give very good valuation to, to the moment of, of buying. They, they have average 8.1 uh, out of 10. That's, uh, that's quite good. And what they consider is, uh, is good. If you look from bottom to top, price, and payment method are quite important. But uh, from the logistic point of, uh, point of view, you will see that delivery time and return policy are also quite important. From 35 to 44, there's only nine points and many different, uh, many different aspects to take into account in Spain for, for, for the customers to be happy. Three of every four rate eight uh, to 10, three of every, every four. That's very, very good. But uh, not all are good news. <laughs> one in every four, once in every four times that the customer is about to buy, he doesn't finish. Uh, and the reasons are also uh, various and, and some of them are related mostly from the first four, from bottom to top, again, you will see that three have to take, uh, have, uh, make clear reference to pricing. Hidden costs, it's very important that people know from the, from the first moment what's the final price, because that, that kills us. When we think we are going to pay one price, and then after they say, now, I'm adding up, and adding up, adding up. Then the feeling is we get quite anxious, and we say, this is not what I was expecting. So some of them will cancel the, and, and will search for somewhere else where they can really see. When you make this, the decision uh, to buy, it's your closing in your mind a price. Then whatever you put on top is dangerous. Think it over. Think it over, that's dangerous and that's unavo unavoidable. But then there are some aspects also, web crashed or slow process, that has to do more with the mobile. If you're uh, with, a, with a bad connection, uh, I think in the, in the months uh, to come, we're, uh, 5G is coming uh, all the way, and then the, it will help uh, the mobile uh, world to, to grow. And at the moment of pain, it's uh, uh, PayPal is 
top is number number one, with a clear distance uh, to Craig and David Cards. But then there is COD. COD is still high for uh, for what uh, at the domestic level compared to the international level. Seven percent. Thing is, if you were thinking of offering COD into Spain. Correos, as such, we offer COD. But if you ask me, should I use it? I would say, I don't know. Because in Spain, also, with the COD, what happens is the transit from the moment I buy to the moment I receive, if I have not paid, I have a longer period not to receive or to say, mm, when the postman comes, maybe I say, I have to think it over, remember, it was 46. If I'm in front of the computer, if it's COD, it will grow. So um, if we are at the end of the month, people are waiting for their salary. Maybe they say, mm. sometimes what we are asked, uh, our postman, they are asked, uh, OK, send it to the post office. When you ship directly with us, if we cannot deliver for whatever reason, we send the items uh, for 15 days to the post nearest post office. So they say, send it to the post office until I get uh, my salary. Then I will go next day. Uh, so I don't know if, if this, uh, this is a trend that uh, you would like to, to follow. But uh, if you're deciding what are you waiting for, what, uh, what else you need, so maybe if we take a look at uh, what the sellers, Spanish sellers, are doing and thinking uh, for this year. These are uh, figures for this year. Expectations to grow. 63% of the Spanish sellers think that they will grow more than 10% this year. 25% say that they will grow up to 10% to in, in sales. So, and same, if you look at it, 99% are happy with the online sales. So that's something to take into account. So the, the trend is, is quite healthy. It's, uh, we understand that uh, this is very positive. Although Spain is way back from the UK, way back from, from Germany, we are growing, we're growing steadily. And then we are doing uh, double figures year on year. So this is very good for, uh, for uh, what we think. How do they drive traffic to the web? Of course, SEO, although it's decreasing, SEO is number one. Then direct traffic and SEM and social networks are really, really strong. Uh, mainly social network is growing, growing very, very heavily also year on year, and is one of the main drivers now. Under expectations, uh, remember we said the, web, the website crashed or, or it was too slow. There is a, an important percentage also of companies thinking that uh, they will do some changes, either total changes in their websites or platforms, or a partial, or a they will, they will do it by themselves, uh, but uh, they, they are not just leaving it as it is. There's one third is wanted to change, is wanted to, to react. It's always good to bring some new things to, to give uh, new impressions to the, to the buyers. Delivery moment. Mm, that's, uh, that's a heavy load that we have on our shoulders uh, because you promise, you sell, but then we have to finalize that moment. And that moment must be good. Otherwise, uh, if we ruin it, then we will not be very supportive to, to what you do. This is uh, data that uh, is also important uh, to take a look. Although 57% of the sellers say we will remain with the same solution, delivery solution we have, and 14% are uncertain for this year. Still, we have 29% that will say that most probably they will change or they will look for a second solution. They want to have two solutions in hand. 
this is okay for certain companies because of, uh, as we will see later on with AliExpress, the peak moment is every time more peaky. So every time we have a, a, a peak sale, then the numbers are going higher and higher. And the tension that every, every delivery network needs to, to stand is so, so hard to, to, to resist that uh, uh, something that the best solution is to have two. But sometimes having two is two under pressure also. Uh, we will see what uh, we're going to do regarding the peak season now. So, 2014, December, uh, in Correos, we started uh, thinking about uh, going abroad, going really abroad, going to Asia, uh, the Asia area, and so we were lucky. We, we could contact uh, the right people in, in AliExpress. And then uh, it was good because uh, when we met each other, I remember that uh, we said, why this high volume to, to Spain that uh, you have? Spain, last double 11, was destination country number two for AliExpress in the world. First was Russia, and then it was uh, Spain, even bigger than the US. So when we said, why? They said, natural growth. So natural growth, we said, it's good. We have done nothing, and numbers are, are growing a lot. But at the same time, that's very dangerous, because they're growing. We, as a postal uh, operator, we were receiving all those items from different solutions all over the world, and we had no information. They were not in contact with us. We had no information. So that miscommunication could lead to trouble somehow. So what uh, we have been doing from that moment that we started negotiations until we started working May 2015 up to today was first direct contact, direct contract. If you have interest in a country, sometimes you're giving it to somebody else. Somebody else will give it to me. As Correos, we are the official postal operators. We are the only postal operators uh, reaching 100% of the country. Some other solutions, they don't reach everything, so they will give me what they don't deliver. So, in the end, you will have items delivered by me. You don't know, we don't communicate. So, there is no information with those, uh, through those parcels. So, by direct contact, we can interact. We can talk, we can, you can say, hey, I had a problem yesterday, you can inform me, we, we will search for a solution. I can tell you when it's the, the, all the Spanish holidays and some specific areas, what's going to happen in case of uh, general elections. Sometimes, last year, we had three elections in Spain. And by law, all, all the postal items uh, going for general elections have uh, the right to be delivered first. We have to communicate. We can do it. Sometimes you just see that there is some issue in Spain, but you don't know why. If we talk, we can solve it. Then the network, we have 30,000 postmen, we have 2,300 um, post offices to be near any, anybody in Spain, as I said before, covering 100% of the, of the population. We have 14,000 vehicles, so that's everything. When you put that uh, uh, in, in front of uh, large customers like um, AliExpress, you can help them to reduce transit time, but that was not sufficient. DSA, we are one of the, I would say it's two countries only doing DSA into Spain from China. 
origin China, there we have in Spain 17 regional sorting centers. We are shipping directly to the sorting centers. So we are avoiding to go to the hops where all the items are, um, have to go through. So we are creating some uh, important efficiency for, uh, for, uh, for them. And also, we are avoiding to have tension in the network. If I have to sort, I don't know, we have important hubs in Madrid or in Barcelona, if I can send directly to every corner in Spain, I will leave gap for other customers to come to Barcelona and Madrid. So this is uh, very important for peak season products. We saw that we were talking and we were mismatching conversation because we had no products to adapt what they send. I mean, I don't know whether you have ever bought uh, from China uh, low cheap products. Uh, it's uneven, it's uh, hard to manipulate, uh, you have to do it manually. So we developed a product which is now offer to any other customer, any other e-commerce customer, that uh, for low value products, you ship it to us. And uh, without any integration, we are able to put these items in a sorting machine and be uh, deliver faster, be more efficient. So uh, this increased efficiency will be applied for, for all of our existing customers, thanks to to, to larger customers like, like this. Database quality, this is very important. People don't notice that if I'm typing my name, I'm typing my data on your website and I make a mistake, every time you ship to me, there will be a mistake. The postman, if, if there is one number missing, every time it will be, uh, we will have to send to the post office or we will have to to correct the address manually or so we have been working uh, on with database quality we can do it with you also in order to to reduce uh, the number of undeliverables returns very important when you do cross border you need we recommend you to have a domestic solution for the returns because if you use, sometimes you will use different postal operators to get to Spain or to go to Italy, to go to, to Germany, to France. But then what happens is, if you use ordinary mail and tracked, not until the item comes back to you returned, you will know, you will find out that it was never delivered. Of course, you will have a complaint from the customer, but uh, there was no integration, you have no no way to say, yes, I have received it back, or, or maybe uh, he has received and he's just asking for another one. So a domestic return solution in Spain will help you because you will be informed before that uh, the item has been returned, so you will have the confirmation, and so you can react faster. Even for tracked items, uh, what we do with AliExpress is we reship from Spain. We don't have to ship back to China again. So imagine the savings in shipping back, in complaining, uh, just the reimbursement. I mean, uh, the, all the compensations you're, you're saving. This is something you have to take uh, into account. And peak days, peak season. Years ago, when we were more inclined to, all, all postal operators, we were more inclined to, to mail. You could go on a weekend, you could go on a short break. Now we will have Easter, you will have a bank holiday. That was okay. Everything would stop, uh, all companies, all factories, and then we would go on a Friday and then we would be back on Tuesday. Everything was fine. Not anymore. You go on a holiday, I mean, you don't deliver on Saturday, Sunday, then bank holiday but people keep on buying. They keep on buying uh, during the weekend and sometimes they buy more, they have more time to do it. So when you come back, then you have a, a peak. It's not only, we're not only talking now about double 11, we're not only talking about Black Friday, other moments. Uh, we're talking now just four days, 
uh, next uh, week, Easter in Spain, it will be a four-day holiday. It will be in some parts of the country, it will be Thursday, Friday, Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Some others will be uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And in some areas, it will be the five days. So imagine when you come there, you will have tons and tons of parcels to, to be delivered. So what we're going to do in the, in the next uh, months is we are revising all of our ways to, that uh, we're, we're using to every day and our means of uh, delivery. We're thinking of delivery on Saturdays, probably in peak season Sundays. We are thinking of hiring seven to 10,000 people just during that peak season. We are bringing uh, three new machines to sort 300,000 more parcels every day. I mean, we are putting everything we have there to, to reach. As a consequence, today, from China to Spain, end to end, we are, we, we are reaching Although the gate entry is not in Spain, it's not directly in Spain, we are reaching uh, 10, 11 days end to end. The return uh, rate is 0 0.2 returns, 0 0.2. And um, the reason and the consequence of that is last month, we were awarded uh, Correos, you can read it at the bottom of the picture, our name, Tiny, is uh, we have been awarded as best logistic partner 2016-2017 uh, from uh, AliExpress. So, I mean, to be the only one in in, in the world uh, to receive this kind of uh, of awards really says that uh, we're doing a lot uh, regarding e-commerce. So, um, re remember, if you're coming to to Spain. Let's uh, work together. Let's make sure that uh, you will be successful. And as I said and Walter said previously, of course, if you have any more questions, just uh, approach our stand H20, H82, and we will be more than happy to, to assist you and give you further information. Thank you so much.